Where was I? Wait, 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 what? Was she not? Oh, shit. Maybe I'm the crazy one. Anyway, time to open fire on Quint. Quint, you're a piece of garbage and I'm gonna end your life. You're gonna get it, you little garbage stain. Punk-ass kid. Don't you ever cross me again, Quint. I swear to God. That was satisfying. That was worth $80. Aw, oh, yeah, video game noise. Open it? Yeah. Oh, it's making a sound now. That's amazing. Also, you just got your gun? Why? Oh, so you could slam it open and she got motor bars. She was at an age that craves excitement. Cool animations, bro. Oh no! What town you're from? Girls will be girls. She was smoking, but it you was know, Zach, secret. In this wonderful country of ours, there are no good old-fashioned towns left. None at all. <laughs> what an asshole! Just condemning her for this thing you do constantly and in public. Day one. Today is the day of the ceremony, and I'm a little nervous about it. Day two. The first time he used it on me, it was so amazing. So exhilarating. Used Day it three. on me. He I wonder if that's a Japaneseism or what. I'm really worried about Becky. Day four. Also, I don't think that that's how diaries Every work. I feel like people would won't be able to be... protect. I mean, I guess maybe so you'd intentionally obfuscate some information in case somebody it's breaks into it. But it still feels sort of so we have this even worthless for this purposes of reflection Becky and this delivery man this feels Kate. like a plot convenient diary Zach, this could be more I think the real one would pretty much bury the problem but then again I've never had a diary so I don't know I mean I, I basically have a diary it's called tumblr I just rant whatever I, if I have an opinion I will just scream into the howling void of the internet and then it will be documented forever whether I like it or not problem solved she could have been a little tidier at her age. Didn't she have a crush for anyone? Man, you're a dick. You're just a, you're just a dick, York. Also, the colors are much more vivid on that card. Also, what? What is? Th oh my God! I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get demonetized. Oh, jeez. Over that art. Not too clean, I must say. Though I can hardly blame her. She is kind of dead. It's not filthy, not just yet, but she hasn't been cleaning lately. Oh, jeez, it's not bad. I think I can afford to shave here, and there's a dead girl's bathroom. Yeah, yeah I'm just gonna, gonna touch it up. I assume he carries his own shaver with him where he goes. Otherwise, he's really messed up right now. Also, look at those towels. Those are some pretty pathetic towels. Yeah. Also, what, the, what is this sprite that is leaning into the screen here? What? Oh, it's this the shaving spray. Ah, yes. Her daily delivery of bullets. You can't get your day started without some vitamin bullet. Good thing nobody stops me from doing anything I want around here. Huh? Did you give her the letter? Uh, here is a human sternum. I'm not interested in that. Did you give her the letter? Oh no, that's on oh, his diary. Huh? That's another plot item, I guess. I like that it says Olivia on it's a it. Letter from Olivia. From Olivia? Yes, idiot. Pay attention. Who else would be writing you letters? You think I got a thing what for the... you? I wrote so much, more than I'd, I'd ever actually say. A lot more than this. And she writes me only three lines back. Eat Can shit, nerd. Oh, no, no, it's, it's more than enough. She wrote <laughs> as much as she could. That's the best she could do right now. Yeah. Three powerful lines. I believe in you. I'll wait for you. I'm sorry. I, I don't agree with the last one, though. 
I'm the one who has to apologize. Do you feel a little better now, then? <laughs> Just wait until the case is finished. I promise this will all come to an end. Yeah. I, I know. I, I believe you. She's believing in me, too. And waiting for me. Well, I have to be going. <laughs> now, hold, hold on. A Very rapid dismissal of himself. Oh, that's actually potentially useful. Now I can rummage in your kitchen. All right. What's this? The key to the back door of the diner. There's a big bag in the kitchen. I don't know if you could use it, but consider it yours. Why do I want your garbage? To it, of course, I, I can't exactly go with you. Okay. I'll take this and I'll go check it out. Looks like a return to better things for those two, eh, Zach? Did Are your eyes closed right now? What are you doing? Something important. Why do I have to do it after hours? Why can't I do it right the hell now? I, it's a key. The key is not time locked. It's not a conditional key. I can bust in that damn place whenever I please and just, just get up in that, that bag. Gotta admit, a lot of games are less fun on your own. Well, no, there's a combination of factors. When you're on your own, like, on your own, on your own, not streaming, you're free to just take your time and savor things, and you don't have to worry about any judgment of opinions that other people might be imposing upon you. Live streaming is distinctly opposite from that. But when you're live streaming, I think it's better to have somebody else in the room so that you have a contact with, like, personal reality. Of course, this is just my theory. I'm no famous... Let's play man, I'm just a mediocre let's play man. That's not true. Mediocre being an assessment of my quality. I think my quality's damn good. <laughs> Gonna do the best I can. Where the hell am I going and where the hell is my car? Ah, whoa, hey, whoa. Why is there a giant woman here? Lily Ingram, why is she enormous? I should find that out. Oh, no, she's, she's still huge. Lily, why are you a giant woman? Maybe I should go look into that. Oh, Forest Cason's at the Milk Barn. Where is the Milk Barn relative to me? No, please legitimately tell me. Oh, also, roaming Sigourney. 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 Okay. Okay, so we have the Milk Barn here. Oh my god, I have got to get around there. Where is there, though? Oh my god. The, I was close to it when I was at the graveyard. I have n if only, if only I could add any sort of marker or move the map around because I really want to be in this part of the town which for some reason is deeply, immensely isolated from any other part of the town. Why? I'll never know. Why are there not like coordinates on this map though? What? Okay, I know that somewhere in the world there exists a place I want to be. That's step one. Step everything else is getting there. Alright. All right, I'm almost close to being anywhere at all. Wait, wait, is that... Is this a scrapyard? Is this anything? No, it's nothing. It's just a stupid nothing that doesn't matter. But there's a house, so I'm on to something. There's something next to the nothing. Yeah, 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 what's going on? I'm here, so if I take this next words... Right? This is- this direction is left. That's right. What? You, fat man, you- I'm gonna give you money and then you're gonna tell me a secret. Mm. Don't do it. Don't spit that gum on my thing. <sighs> oh, he spat it right into his own collar again. I have to bribe him $200 now, that sucks. Fine, jerk. Hmm. Benjamin, my good buddy. Listen mm. up, I got something new to tell ya. Have you been in General Scrap Heap yet? I beg to do a Phyllis? Yeah, I already knew that. I already knew about the General. <laughs> that sounds a lot like something crashed. Oh no, it didn't, thank you. Ooh, hello. I'm not letting him spit on my car again. See a crap head? You're a crap head. What a complete nutigated bastard. Ugh. He's so gross. 
Come on. Hot wife. God damn it. You're a piece of garbage and I don't like you. Ryden Bull Jack, whatever the hell your name is. Where's your wife? I need to go bang her now. Oh no, she's there. She's there. I can try one more time. Try one more time for Rosy Lips Gina. Since I'm on the way out anyway. Uh. Yeah. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! This is what we all came here for. Polygons. Hey, girl. Uh -huh. Fill her up, girl. Yeah, pump it. Pump it so good. Buy 15 cents of gas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gina's sponge. There it is. I have the trading card. Yeah. Oh, attention to detail. That's what you need. That's, that's quality service. Now I'm in premium condition, baby. Thanks, Gina. You're, you're a peach. Kaysen's car. Christ, in the big red nursery. Kennel not optional, apparently. Suggesting that you can buy it, but it will still have the kennel. <sighs> Carol. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you dog! You fall for this every time, York. Every How time. Doing, boy? Hey, Willie, wait! Where are you going? I'm immediately going to rob your dog again. I've stolen his root beer. I've stolen... <laughs> I've stolen his cigarettes. I'm gonna rob your dog blind, Kaysen. And then I'm going to kill you. But that'll come later. Just you wait, Kaysen. Sooner or later you won't have plot and vulnerability. And then BAM! So he's a punk back then, but he's grown up and settled down. Richard looks pretty cool. What's, what's on his chest? Is that a nicotine patch? Yeah, Richard, he's a legit guy. Hey, Keith. Moon Keith Moon, what's up? Okay, Carol. Excuse me, Carol. May we talk about things? You don't know where your brother is. Hmm. I believe you. Anyway, I have to go rob this dog. Excuse me. Alright, so the question is, do I get two bonuses, because it was two more bones. That's time I've been going bone for bone. Oh, hell yeah. Stole his turkey sandwich! Get wrecked, Willy! Anyway, let's save. I've done some hard work, and I think that this deserves a good old-fashioned save. I'll tell you what. I know it'll cost me a dollar, but it'll be worth it in the long run. You'll all see. You'll all have chins. Hey, Kaysen. You. Newman. I don't know, I'm not... I heard Wayne Knight went, like, insane. Hold on, wait, what are you what are you talking about with this Peter spy? Huh. Baker's name Peter. Butcher's name Peter. Chauffeurs, lawyers, actors, Peter's, Peter's as far as I can see. Peter is obviously a very popular name in this country. What are you talking about? Hey, is there a spy called Peter here? What? Kaysen, you're an idiot. Yo, dude. Oh, he's sounding bummed out. That's unusual. I can't discuss that, Keith. Also, they have the same sound. They are making the same sound. That is awful. For the love of God, just put a little, little in the corner. I'll help you out, bro. Yo, dude. Here to shop, right? Just held on then. Oh, spiritual map B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the second secret. Hey, man. Oh no, what have I triggered? This map shows a station. Eh, we got time. And an extended lines track. Now that was a busy place back when the lumber trade. Why is every magic thing in about lumber? It's near it now, you know. It's like yeah. a a train graveyard. On top of that, some folks say they've even seen ghosts there. I don't mean one or two ghosts, man. I mean like hundreds. That is a lot of ghosts. Are you talking like independently or just ghost time? <gasps> now and then, a golden opportunity comes along. Like a chance to leave home for a while. I like Kaysen just standing there like an asshole. There were plenty of them at the end of the eighties. What did that guy just pop up? Severely short handed. So they called in a lot of Can't go up and down by the way with the camera right now. The place was failing. 
and indeed it died before most of the poor guys got there. Killer is dead. So there was like a load of labor workers that had nowhere to go. No place to work, no way to get back to where they came from. Also the flies are at maximum They're power, they've ascended to white. On the train they had rode in on. I guess that must have been hard living, living on a train car. I don't know if this is disorienting or what. What kept them in town? Ah, now. The head of the lumber Oh no! To them. Wait just a little longer. We'll have work for you soon. You I know, cannot, like, get a good look on his face. He was just a lying scumbag. No way to rock, man. No lies, way to rock. They only last so long. With each day that passed, those unemployed guys got more angry. That's reasonable. Then, something happened. And the timing for it was incredible. The the squatters in the background. The night in just happened to catch fire. Oh no! It. Incredible timing indeed. Oh yeah, but the police couldn't find any evidence to pin it on anyone. Oh, the guy and killed him. Wait a second. And stuff you is his head know. like translucent right now? It looks a lot like it is. Oh my trouble. god. Nothing happened to that. the head of the lumber mill. It's beautiful. It made the news as an accident. Is it always translucent? Mm -hmm. Or is it just that one? Says that a large number of those oh my boys god. are still I living in worse. that train car. Unaware that they're dead. You better be careful, Mr. FBI. If you go down there by yourself. <laughs> oh man, it's spooky as heck. Kason's just like, that was a good story! I liked it! I'm like, Kason, did you pay $4,000? Get the hell out of here and then beat yourself with a pipe until you forget everything you just heard. Piece of garbage. You can't escape me, Richard! I'll follow you to the ends of the earth! Richard! Do, do try to watch at least some of the highlights of the 90s Spider-Man animated series because my god, that is a resplendent experience. It's got... I mean, I grew up with it, so for me that's like the canon Spider-Man voice. I always compare everyone's voice to that version. And I think it was legitimately good, too. It had, like, German-sounding auto. It had, um... Oh, jeez. It had, um... Pretty solid shocker. I, everyone was solid, at least. I think Venom sounded amazing, because he had this permanent double-layered voice thing going on. Oh, man. Anyway, uh, the best scene ever is... They, they covered some deep lores, too. Like, stuff that you would not expect to make it to TV. And you probably don't remember did if you ever did know. But, like, they covered the symbiote Spidey arc. And the so the way they indicated it, enhancing his aggression, was him completely freaking out on the shocker. And he's just, like, hunting him down, screaming, You can't escape me, shocker! <laughs> and shocker is just fleeing in absolute terror. Like, Spider-Man will absolutely murder him if he catches him. It was amazing.